all numbers. So our learn no target is I can classify numbers. So please write down the date that you're watching this. And for your I know, I don't know if you know a lot about classifying numbers, but you know at least some things about fractions and decimals and other types of numbers. So write what you do know about how to classify or organize types of numbers. Then we have two vocab words. The first one is rational. A rational number is a number that can be written as a fraction. And then irrational is a number that cannot be written as a fraction. And as decimals, they do not repeat or end. So please pause the video, make sure you have all this written down and continue it when you're ready. For today's notes, we have a sort of chart here, and we're gonna use this to help us organize what's called the real numbers. So real numbers are the numbers that we're used to working with, and there are numbers that are considered non-real or imaginary numbers. You're not gonna learn about those until you get into algebra later on in your mathematical studies. But most of the numbers you've ever worked with in your life so far, are what are called real numbers. And this chart is gonna help us sort of organize what those things are so that you can learn about how to classify them yourself. So first we have in real numbers, we have in this box, what are called rational numbers. Rational numbers is a very, very broad term. This can be numbers such as a decimal, 5.37 for example. It could be the number 12. It can be a fraction like two thirds or five and a half. This also includes square roots when they are numbers that um, don't go on forever and ever. So this is basically any number that as a decimal, it's either repeating such as 0 0.6 repeating, or one that ends, like 5.37. A uh, square root of 16 is rational because it the square root of 16, if we do that on our calculator, that's four. Over here are the irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written as a fraction, or they are numbers that as a decimal, they're never repeating and never ending. The most famous irrational number is the number pi. Pi is 3.14159, on and on and on and on. It's random numbers that go on forever and ever and ever, and it never repeats and it never ends. This could also be a number like the square root of 41. 41 doesn't have a nice whole number that multiplies by itself to 41. So if you do this on a calculator, you get six point, a whole bunch of numbers that never repeat and never end. And there are lots of numbers that are like this, but the important thing to remember is that it's any decimal that never repeats or ends. If it repeats, it's rational. And if it ends, it's rational. Even if it ends after a long time, like if it's 2.11437584, it's still ended. If it was 3.769417 and it just kept going forever and ever and ever and it never repeated or ended, then it would be irrational. Now, as you can see on the rational side, there are several more classifications. So the next classification are the integers. Integers we studied. Integers are positive or negative whole numbers. So this includes negative five, it includes three, it includes negative two, it includes zero, which is neither positive nor negative, it includes 70,000, but it doesn't include numbers that have fraction or decimal. So this is positive or negative numbers that have no fraction or decimal parts. The next classification is the whole numbers. Now, if you're wondering what's the difference between an integer and a whole number, whole numbers say no negatives. So this can be any whole number. It can include 0, 15, 
312, 75, but no negative numbers are allowed. And then the last classification is the natural numbers. Natural numbers are even meaner. They say basically no zero. So not only are they not allowing negative still, they also don't allow zero. Anything else that's a whole number is a natural number. Natural numbers are also count your counting numbers. When you start counting, they go one, two, three, four, five. So all positive whole numbers, two, 12, 11, 75,000, 133, but not zero. So this is how we classify the real number system. These are terms that are beginning to be coming up for the rest of the year. So it's really, really important that you know all of these. Please let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.